Tell us why you're starting at 10 years old. So um, at age five, girls and boys are um, almost equally interested in science and technology. And then by the age of six, girls start seeing themselves as less brilliant. By the age nine, the gap starts showing up. And the gap kind of continues to grow. And girls keep kind of dropping off in their interests and in their confidence in pursuing STEM. So we want to start at a point of high leverage, but we also want to sustain their interest and really give them some support tools so that they can continue even after they graduate and they go into the workforce. Now, Little Bits makes what you call electronic building blocks, a series of magnetic bits that snap together that create inventions, anything from an instrument to a robot. Tell us how these kits work and how these kits specifically will work for these 10-year-old girls. So Little Bits is an education company, and we are reinventing education through uh, hardware, software, and content. Our hardware platform is uh, really akin to Lego uh, for electronics. So uh, you're snapping bits together, you're making robots, you're making circuits, you're learning how to code, uh, you're creating anything from a prank, uh, a prank for your siblings to an alarm, uh, to an invention for sustainability. Uh, and through the hands-on learning process, studies show that um, you're able to retain, kids are able to retain concepts of science and engineering and really feel confident because they're able to create things that are relevant for them and that are important for them. Um, we also uh, make, we have an online uh, learning platform called gem.com uh, where kids can uh, meet other kids, they can share their inventions, they can get inspired by each other and they can learn through a video because that's sort of how they're comfortable learning these days. And so when you combine a learning online learning platform with a hard where you're able to really kind of sustain their interest and get them to get excited about STEM and feel like this is something not only relevant for them, but something that inspires them to want to be creative and inventive. So how did you get Disney on board and what is their role here? So Disney, we've had a relationship with Disney for a number of years. We've uh, joined the Disney Accelerator. We did two partnerships with Disney, with Lucasfilm, a droid inventor kit, and then with Marvel, with an Avengers hero inventor kit. Uh, but actually, this partnership is is not uh, within Disney licensing. It's within uh, the Disney um, philanthropy uh, department. And basically, they're funding this not-for-profit effort uh, so that they can really support uh, girls in, in uh, engagement in STEM and really uh, preparing them for workforce the future. So uh, we have a great relationship with them. They've been very committed to diversity in their characters, diversity um, in their company, uh, very much supporting uh, programs that teach kids how to code, um, that bring technology into hospitals to uh, inspire kids as well, um, bring it to the classroom. So um, uh, they're, they're a great partner and they really believe in this mission and so it was a very natural fit. So what kind of progress are you seeing in the STEM gap between boys and girls? I mean, I've been told by organizations like Code.org that you know more children are coding than ever before and that they are now almost perfectly diverse in, ter in terms of gender. Are, are you seeing that? So the, the good news is that there's a lot more awareness about the problem. We're able to talk about it. We're on national TV talking about it. So that's really exciting. Um, I think some of the uh, misconceptions that we hear a lot is that um, it's sort of a one and done deal where if you expose kids to uh, learn a skill or learn how to code or do something at a particular age, uh, you're able uh, to really solve the problem and solve the gender gap. The reality is that um, girls are, uh, are exposed to a lot of stereotypes, media stereotypes, uh, self-imposed stereotypes types, sometimes confidence problems, sometimes their families are not very supportive, and then when they enter the workplace, there's discrimination that they have to face, there's fear of failure that they're um, often uh, really uh, sort of imposing on themselves, and so we really have to um, support girls with more tools, uh, whether they're social, psychological, uh, you know, gi giving them comfort with failing and iterating, uh, and really um, uh, allowing them to see that they are um, themselves the change makers of tomorrow uh, so that they can sustain uh, themselves throughout um, these obstacles when they uh, come across them. So, you know, you're a young woman entrepreneur. You, you know, have experienced firsthand what it's like to be a woman working in technology. I've really focused on what the tech industry to, can do to improve the representation of women in the tech industry. And often what you hear is, this is a pipeline problem. This needs to be done in the education system. It's on parents. It's on teachers. It's on popular culture. I mean, would you agree with that? Or you know, is there a lot to be done at every stage of the process, at every stage, you know, you know, as young girls become women and move in, into 
um, the workforce, is there work that the tech industry itself can do? There is so much work that the tech industry has to do. I think it's easy to defer uh, blame and say it's a pipeline issue, it's because we're not getting enough uh, women um, into the pool. Uh, the reality is even the women that are in the pool are dropping out and they're dropping out because they're facing discrimination in the workplace, because uh, they're not being promoted as often, um, uh, even on objective measures, uh, because uh, they're facing sort of microaggressions on a daily basis, they're not um, uh, being uh, representing um, uh, in boards and things like that. So I think the tech industry has a very big responsibility to do. Um, we know now when we see more women um, in on investor committees and uh, and in VC funds uh, more investments in women-led technology uh, companies are happening so you need them sort All of right. at every level